Hey there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to configure an VPN service between CE8 and CE9. So between these two traffic between the PEs will use an SR policy that needs to be manually configured. And for the interconnect IP address I'll use this subnet 10.8.9.0 and we will use VLAN 89 here on the attachment circuits. And let's open this connection. It's 8 and 9. Let's start with the configuration on the CEs. As we, I think we don't have the interfaces. Yes, so we don't have them. So inter interface gig 03.89 encapsulation.1q89 IP address 10 .8 9 8 and let's see if we have Okay, this is up and something similar on the other one. It's int gig 05. 89 capsulation dot on q that's great and now let's start the configuration on the pe node so on router 33 i need to put to configure the actually and let me see if the interfaces are up or down towards and towards it's this one it's zero zero and it's shut down so i'll also need to remove the shutdown statement so no enter geek shut and create a new sub interface so I've said here that the AC should match VLAN 89 only. Ah. No link hit. Shut. 89. Don't be stupid. Don't try to type too fast if you lose your pace so let transport and encapsulation dot one q89 so this is the ac configuration here we are defining what type of traffic should go through the layer 2 vpn tunnel and by the way we won't be able to test the data plane because it just doesn't work with XRV nodes. We are just going to see the control plane. And now I need to configure the layer 2 VPN. And it's quite simple, but also be aware of this thing here. EVPN traffic between C8 and 9 should use SR policy 1. And this actually needs to be configured as a preferred path under the pseudo wire class so i'm going to start with that it's pw class i'll call it sr it's encapsulation mpls of course and here you give it the preferred path by using this command so preferred path srte and the policy and i actually i don't think uh, i do have the policy name it's here this is the policy name and if you're trying to understand where this comes from it's an srt policy for color 10 and endpoint 35.35.35.1 okay now let's configure the xconnect group and call it to router 35 it's the first point to point and I'll just call it I'll just put the interface gig 
zero 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 eighty nine and the neighbor EVPN EVY let's put one target thirty five source thirty three and this pseudo wire plus This neighbor needs to be learned via BGP, so we're using BGP for the control pane here. And the other um, neighbor should advertise EVI1 and its source 35 and target 33, so in reverse. So let's also configure the BGP process. We need to enable the EVPN address family and we need to configure the neighbor. Remote AS30, update source loopback one and the address family. And this is actually the whole configuration. It's quite easy. And let's see if there are any mistakes. Hopefully not. We'll see if there are any mistakes if I don't see the X connect up. So I need to replace 33, okay, to 33, 33, 35. So if we go back here, and do a show BGP where to VPN EVPN. We see that we're advertising EVI1, and this is our source. I don't know how this is called. To be honest, I haven't worked with EVPN lately, but you won't see any details here. And thing is, EVPN point to point, the virtual private wire services uh, are more easier than the multi point one. So you don't have any complicated signaling here. You just need to see the EVI and your local value here, 33. And then, of course, the neighbors one after 35 will advertise it. It takes a while to do this because of the BGP update delay timer. Okay, so we do see also some rem something from the remote end and it's the right value 35. And if we do a show layer to VPN X connect, these are both up. That's very good. If we do a detail, we'll, we'll see also the label that's getting advertised and and used of course in the data plane and what else what else encapsulation source control some other options ah also this is important but this is inactive why is it like that sure. this one's active I think it has something to do with the fact that I've put to here. Hmm. Something happened here. Ah, okay. So run PC. I removed. Okay. I need to put back. Okay, I'll do it quite fast. I've removed the configuration by mistake, but I replace it really, really fast. So I'll just put one because one is enough from 32 to 35, 33, 35, like this. And print. Okay. Come on, what are you doing? Peer, IPv4, ah, it's under PCE. Okay. 
under ECE. Okay, it is up. It has the correct name, so I should now see the right output here, preferred path active. So what I'm doing with this is telling the router, hey, when you're receiving traffic for this layer to VPN, push it through this SRT policy that I have configured. Don't just use the traditional data plane. And this is the AC. It's up, but let me show you if I do a ping. Then 898 will work because it's local, but the dot nine won't work. And please trust me, it's not because I've misconfigured anything. If we had the wrong VLAN here, we would have seen a counter here and drops illegal VLAN, but we don't. It's the right VLAN range. It's not something about MTU. Uh, size let's say 500 it's not an empty thing and it just doesn't work but both sides are up the uh, pseudo wire the vpn is up the ac is up with xrv you just can't see the data plane working but this output tells us that we're good on the 9k you can actually push data plane traffic and you would see a ping working if you had the same images in the lab or 6.5.3 I think I was practicing on before the exam and the ping was working if I recall correctly. Okay, that's mostly it. I'm done with this practice lab series. Hopefully they are helpful for you. I'm sorry if segment routing uh, was a bit, uh, it's a bit confusing after these videos. My purpose wasn't to teach you segment routing. Again, if you do want to learn segment routing, check this website. You'll have a 10 hour course on that. But you did see some implementations that worked and maybe it's, this is also helpful for you. That's it now. Thanks now for watching and see you soon.